the way that tamper protection works is there is a kernel driver called wdfilter.sys that is loaded on system startup. That is what is preventing you from disabling antivirus uh, whenever tamper protection is enabled. And he actually goes as far as to look at the reverse engineer, the kernel driver, by going into kernel mode with WinDebug. So you can see here that he identifies there's this thing called altitude number, basically parameters that are set when this thing gets loaded. There's a loading and unloading is how these drivers work. You can see the diagram here, it may be possible to crash. You know, he thought, what if we crashed this driver? So if we can crash or stop the WD filter by deleting this altitude key, then the next time you go to start up the system, because remember this runs on startup, it's going to not be able to load prop, or it's not going to even try to load, I should say, because it's going to say, hey, the altitude key is missing. If that driver is not running, then tamper protection is not going to be enabled anymore. We want to crash WD filter, and then we want to restart the system so that the system starts up and the WD filter.sys does not run on startup because that key is missing.